people in our district like the moon. They really are. You know, we need to learn to live by the golden rule. And that's treat others the way you would want to be treated. And if we do that, we're going to be all right. You know, in, in conclusion, I'd like to take a small look at the high school. When Dr. Rodriguez took office, the high school had about 400 students. They now have about 290 students. And that number will still be declining. The administration said that the decline was because of the economy. And that students moved out of the district. They didn't move out of the district. They moved out of our schools. So they moved online, they moved to Oni, and they moved to Guerrero. And they benefited from our misfortune. They really did. You know, my grandmother's class, as a freshman, had 115 students. She's a sophomore. They have 65 students in that class now. 65. We've lost that many students in that class. And we'll probably lose 10 to 15. When they're seniors, how many are we going to graduate? 30? 35? Come on. That's not right for our district. It really isn't. You know, people don't leave because they feel good about the situation they're in. They leave because they don't like the situation they're in. They don't feel like people listen to them. That's why they leave. How are we going to get those people back? We're not going to get them back with business as usual. That isn't going to happen. Something needs to change. It needs to change or we're going to lose more and more. You know? I think the answer lies with you, the community. I think the community is the X factor. I think it really is. The community needs to speak up. The community needs to say, we do not like what's going on. And we need to change it. The worst thing we can do is leave. I mean, that's an option, and people are taking that option, but the worst thing we can do is just leave. We need to stay, and we need to make sure that things change for the better, and that everybody in our system is valued.
another school, but I suppose Dr. Rodriguez is an honorable man. Just like the sounds of laughter in the hallways of all 
And my teachers can tell you if they did something wrong, I would address it. And I support these coaches.
it's impossible. Right? We all had money, but we wouldn't have been where we were, even where we were, without Ms. Davis. I just want to say thank you guys for all coming out and supporting us and helping us out. Hopefully we get them back. Thank you.
27 years. And I was one of the coaches that was let go because we were going in a different direction. You know, that's why I'm not a parent. I'm not looking for this to talk about me in that direction. What I'm talking about is this district. Because this district is our district. It's our kids' district. And you know what? I'm going to talk about what a district should be. Because as a coach, I know, and as an athlete, I know what it takes to be successful. I play on losing teams. I play on championship teams. I coach championship teams. And you know what? There's two reasons that you're either successful or you can fail. And when you fail, it's because you don't have talent or you, or you don't have a leader. And I'm going to tell you what, people say this district's failing. It's not because we don't have talent. Because I know these teachers, administrators, everybody that works in the staff is very talented. So what else can we do? Thank you. 